Getting around is about to get a little easier for people in our area who are visually and hearing impaired. Today, Metro unveiled a new smartphone app and website designed to help them navigate through Metro Rail stations. Rachel Scher has more on how this technology works. Rachel, sounds like a great story. Yeah, Morris, imagine, close your eyes and imagine walking around a Metro station. It sounds pretty scary, right? Well, what if someone gave you turn by turn directions, told you before you ran into a cement barrier or that the restrooms are just 500 feet to your right? Well, that's exactly what the click, click and go app is supposed to do. And DC is the first city putting it to the test. Navigating DC's metro system is daunting for the average person, but for Olivia Norman, it can be downright dangerous. They have multiple lines, multiple places where you can potentially transfer. And that's exactly what sparked the idea. Joe Chaffee has been teaching the visually and hearing impaired for more than 30 years. There's a lot of anxiety for someone who's without vision on a rush hour center platform. He developed the Click and Go app that maps out your physical surroundings, including hazards like escalators or cement walls. It'll even tell you how many steps you are from your destination. There are five directional steps to go from Navy Yard Metro East exit to Nationals Park entrance. Now we have 158 million baby boomers. And so as we're aging, uh, vision is one of the leading things that we have to be concerned about. Right now, the app is only available for the Gallery Place Chinatown station, which includes a total of 100 different routes. But the goal is to expand it to all metro stops in the near future. Restaurants, hotels, baseball games. And a world that's a little brighter for Olivia Norman and her service dog, Nora. It's amazing how it's going to change everything. It's a game changer. They've been testing out the app since August. Metro is offering this app to anyone for free. It isn't available on iTunes just yet, but the website is up and running. For more information, you can go to our website. That's news8.net. Morris. All right, thanks. I admire these people that have all these apps. That's a good story, Rachel. Still